I urged him to surrender peacefully. But the king didn't listen to me. He didn't listen to Varys, who tried to warn him. But he did listen to Grand Maester Pycelle and Grey Sunken Cunt. You can trust the Lannisters, he said. The Lannisters have always been true friends of the crown. So we opened the gates and my father sacked the city. Once again, I came to the king, backing him to surrender. He told me to bring him my father's head. Then he turned to his pyromancer. Burn them all, he said. Burn them in their homes, burn them in their beds. Tell me if your precious Randy commanded you to kill your own father and stand by while thousands of men, women and children burned alive, would you have done it? Would you have kept your oath then? First, I killed the pyromancer, and then, when the king turned to flee, I drove my sword into his back. Burn them all, he kept saying. Burn them all. I don't think he expected to die. He, he meant to burn with the rest of us and rise again. Reborn as a dragon turn his enemies to ash. I slit his throat to make sure that didn't happen. That's where that Stark found me. If this is true, why didn't you tell anyone? Why didn't you tell Lord Stark? Stark? You think? Ned Stark wanted to hear my side. He judged me guilty the moment he set eyes on me. 